Hi friends, Monica with Nourish Functional Nutrition today to give you part two of my uh, discussion with you regarding inflammation. I just wanted to uh, give you some information regarding how inflammation fits into the condition that you may be feeling and how it fits into your health. So let's just go ahead and get started. I just wanted to remind you that I'm at Nourish Functional Nutrition Dot com and you can reach me at monica at nourishfn.com and if you like these videos please give me a comment give me a thumbs up and let me know what you would like to hear next so i wanted to um, talk to you about what i do and what uh, you will receive when you come to see me and why i practice the way that i do it is, um, I'm a functional nutrition lifestyle practitioner. And what that means is that I practice from the functional side of nutrition. And that means that we look at your body and your symptoms and get you back to functioning. We look at the entire body in every area of your body to get you to a point where you have optimum health. The lifestyle practitioner part is where we come in to help you understand that everything in your body is connected. You're a unique individual in that everything matters. Every little symptom, every little thing that has happened to you matters. So what we do is we map you, we create a functional timeline that allows us to look at everything that has happened to you and together with you um, as we consider your condition in whatever it is that you're feeling, uh, we work together so that you can be empowered to contribute and be a team member in your own health care. And so I wanted to just give you a, kind of an overview of the perspective and where we have been talking about inflammation a lot and where does this fit in. Inflammation is part of what we call three roots, roots that um, give birth to the fruit that you're feeling in your body right now. So whether you're talking about a chronic condition like an autoimmunity or something uh, that may feel minor to you, uh, like an inability to sleep or control your blood sugar or maybe your weight, um, all of these things come from many, uh, from three roots. But what we see as all these symptoms and the things that you want to shift those are many branches. So those are branches. So if you think of lack of sleep and ability to lose weight, uh, perhaps pain, joint pain, any of these things are uh, branches of a tree or a plant that has some roots that we need to look at. So those roots are genetics, your gut dysfunction. So if your gut is not working well, if you're not digesting, in absorbing your food, then uh, we cannot go anywhere without that. And then the third one is inflammation, we, we, which we have talked about. So uh, what I wanted to, to do is just to talk about those things, how they affect you and how we can shift that to help you have the, the life that you want and the health that you want, which is the reason why you're here and you're interested in learning about functional nutrition. So um, in looking at what has been manifesting in your body, whether it's pain or a more serious condition, we need to look at the soil or the environment in which that condition has come to fruition or has shown up. And um, a lot of times people say, oh, well, uh, my parents had Alzheimer's or they had diabetes and that's my fate. That is not your fate. So just because you have a genetic condition in your past or in your family, it doesn't mean that you're going to develop that condition. There's a lot of things that come into play there, but the biggest one is your environment or the soil in which that condition will manifest itself. We also call that the terrain. So anytime that you shift the terrain, you shift the soil, the plant shifts and you can create fruit. So um, this is what we're trying to do with functional nutrition. We're trying to shift the terrain so that you can have the health that you want. Um, so whatever symptoms that you're experiencing, 
uh, whether it is weight gain, inability to lose weight, inability to control your blood sugar, diabetes, prediabetes, pain, joint pain, migraines, um, adrenal dysfunction, anxiety, depression, food intolerances, or any kind of a, a symptom that, that would affect your mood. All of those things are related. And those things, uh, as I said before, are branches out of that those three roots. So genetics play a part, but you cannot change your genetics. Gut dysfunction. So if we look at that, the um, if you look at your digestion, if you're experiencing gas, diarrhea, constipation, um, IBS, anything that is keeping you from digesting your food, if you have heartburn, your doctor has put you on a proton, proton pump inhibitor, um, that's going to decrease the, the acid in your stomach, but it's also going to have some consequences. So I would really want to look at that and, and find out whether in reality you have low acid or um, indeed if you have high acid secretion in your stomach. So all of these things are going to affect the way that you digest your food and how that food is utilized by your body, which will make a huge difference in the way that you feel. Believe it or not, when that gut is not digesting food properly and you're not absorbing it properly, that leads to inflammation. And inflammation we already talked about leads to everything else. So as you can see, uh, to recap, genetics are not your fate. Gut dysfunction is key in resolving all of the other issues that you're having. And then inflammation is something that comes along when your gut is in this array. So as you can tell, digestion, the food that you eat and everything that you put in your mouth is going to have a huge impact on every condition that you have ranging from um, the sniffles to a serious autoimmunity or any other uh, condition like cancer. So um, is the way that, that we're looking at this is that there is an answer but we need to look at everything else, which tells us how important it is to number one, have a practitioner or someone who works with you that treats you as an individual, not just a diagnosis. So if you have high blood sugar, for example, you are not to be treated as a diabetic or a high blood sugar person, but instead as an individual who requires a very specific look to look at your genetics, your past, the things that have happened to you, and how you got to where you are, and how you, you respond to the things that are in your environment. So we look at things like your immune system, your exposure to toxins, viruses, bacteria, uh, stress and anxiety, your connection to community, your spiritual health, your ability to handle stress. All of these things come under that umbrella of the functional lifestyle practitioner that is going to help you not just address your digestion, but how disease presents itself in your soil, in your terrain, in your body, in the person that makes you who you are. And so it's so important that we cool inflammation to help you get to the answers that you're seeking. And so looking at everything that I have talked about. We started out with inflammation. We, we talked about the food that you need to eat, the food that you need to avoid, and that in itself gives you a lot to work with. And um, then we looked at how you're an individual and how um, everything is connected. So all of the systems are connected. Therefore, what you get, whether it is disease or health, has to do with many, many factors. It's not just one thing. And so everything in your body is connected. You are an individual and everything matters. Every little symptom matters. Everything that you eat matters. Your background matters. Your environment matters. And so that's where I come in. I help you learn about your body, know how your body is receiving the, the nourishment that you're giving it and how it's utilizing it 
to help you be a better person and get to, to the place of health that where you're thriving, not just surviving. And this is where I come in. So I am here for you. I will continue to do these little chats. If you have any questions, please reach out to me. I'm here to guide you, to provide you with resources. And you can go to my website. I have different blogs on there. I have recipes and different things that can help you get on the road to being the healthiest person that you can possibly be. So please reach out and let me know what you want to hear about next. Have a great day. And don't forget, if you like this, please share it with your friends and family. Give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you in the next video.